their child in the hospital. To ease the stress, the hospital holds Christmas in July. Joining me now is uh, child life specialist Karen Frame and Jennifer Lewis with her son Kaysen, who was a patient at Wolfson Children's Hospital. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Do appreciate it. Absolutely. I'm going to start with you, and then I have to, of course, just eyeball this beautiful little baby <laughs> you're holding. We'll hear more about Kaysen in just a minute. Um, if you can explain a little bit for those who are at home now and have never donated, certainly, to Wolfson Children's Hospital when it comes to Christmas in July, why is it so important? I mean, the, the looks on the children's faces, I'm sure, is just fa fantastic. It's amazing. If you have a child who's in the hospital and they're just stressed out and things are happening to them and they just don't know what's good, you know, what's next, and I can go in and talk to them and explain things to them, but when we then say, well, what do you like to play with? What kind of things do you like to do? And you get the little boys who say, do you have Legos? Oh. And I go, yeah, I have Legos. And that you go and get them and they are like, wow, you know? And then they're always, this is what's amazing to me is they're like, I'll be done with it later and you can, and I go, no, no, it's yours to keep. And they're like, oh, I get to keep this Lego, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, it's it's that and the, the princess dolls and the and the, just the different things, baby toys for the little ones that just need distraction and, and developmental toys and things. And then you have the older kids who they don't want Legos and they don't want dolls, but we have a program that we use to loan out iPads. And those iPads, I mean, we have to purchase them and then loan them out to patients. And so that's why we're asking this year, if you don't want to go shopping and buy toys, make a monetary donation online because that just really will help us to get the things that we need, especially for the older children. And, and mom, you know all too well the stress associated with yes. taking your baby to the hospital and they're sick. Of course, Kaysen's a little too young to play with, with Legos, <laughs> without a doubt. But tell us about your experience. What happened with Kaysen? And he looks like he's doing well now. Yes, he's doing wonderful. Um, well, we didn't know there was any issues. There was complications when he was born, and he had to go straight to the NICU. And um, he was on life support for a few days, and it was very, very scary. And, um, you know, by the grace of God, he pulled through, and the NICU saved his life. And they're just, they're angels on that floor, so. Uh, you're so right. Uh, <laughs> my, my son spent two days in NICU also, but was not real, real sick. But it's, you, you're thankful, certainly, that they're there, and you hope you never have to use them. Yes. Will Kaysen need to go continue to go back to the hospital as a result of his nope. condition, or he is perfectly fine and yes. happy? He's good to go. Uh, that is wonderful, <laughs> and he is such a doll. Thank you. Uh -oh. <laughs> and, he's, and he's like, okay, Mom, I want my Patsy back. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about specifically, you mentioned donations. Uh, boy toys, girl toys, any kind of age? The, what, what are your what what are you looking for? What do you need? The biggest needs we have are for infants and toddlers, okay. and for teens. And as I said, you know, you can infants and toddlers, the little rattles and and toys, the things that you know say two and under, so that they don't aren't choking hazards. Things, little boys' trucks. Even <laughs> little two year olds love to play with trucks, but you don't want to give them a Hot Wheels car that they'll choke on, you know. And so those kinds of things, infants and toddlers, and then the teens and. Uh, Uno cards is a big one. Oh, the kids, the teens love them. And then one of the things the teen girls absolutely love recently that's come out are these adult coloring books and colored pencils. It's like, yes. Easy, not real expensive, and it's exactly. all about distracting them from what's going on at that yes. moment to get their mind off something other than being sick. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. And I want to just let everyone know where you can go, certainly also, to make your donation, whether it be money or to drop off toys. You can donate, and, and, and the toy drop-off it itself is located by going going to uh, christmasjuly.com. That's for a monetary donation. Or you can also um, go to Baptist or any Jersey Mike's through July 24th to drop off toys. We have included a list of where you can do that on our website, newsforjacks.com. Just look under the morning show page later this morning. Did I remember everything in terms of location? I believe so. Okay, just want to make sure that everybody knows where to go because yes. it is so important to these children. All right, it is about 12 minutes before 9 o'clock and taking a live look outside of the beach. Don't you wish you were there now? But